Well, first it was the pumps, but with many of those issues at the Sewage and Water Board resolved, the focus now is on power and billing. Danny Monteverdi from our Down the Drain investigative team has an update. If today's quarterly review of the Sewage and Water Board was a test, the agency would pass, but not with the highest of grades. A city council committee says there are still too many problems with power and billing. When it comes to the turbines that power the pumps, two are in service. The agency says that's generally sufficient, but when it's time for backup power, noisy generators kick on. Neighbors have griped for years about the ear piercing roars. Agency leaders say give them two to three months and work to soften that noise should be done. We'll be audited, so to speak. I mean, the neighbors are very engaged and they're doing their own measuring and we'll you know, they're keeping us on our toes, rightly so. Billing is another years old problem that the agency has struggled to fix. Estimated bills have led to some customers getting exorbitant charges. Agency leaders say they need more people to read more meters to get more accurate bills. They have that now, roughly 50, up from about 25. The focus has been on meter reading because as I'm assuming most of you know, or all of us know, uh, we can't get to correct bills or accurate bills until we fix meter reading, you know, trash in, trash out. And while sewage and water board staffers find fewer billing issues on their own these days, customers still see them. There were about 1300 open cases in June, but utility officials say that's about average. Meanwhile, the agency says work to plan and build a new energy substation at the Carrollton plant is on schedule. That should hopefully put an end to things such as boil water advisories. Reporting at City Hall, Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. And that new energy substation is expected to be done by mid-2023.